how far do you think the government has gone in fighting corruption? And do you agree with Transparency International? Because there are different versions. Uh, Mukudu has been trying to defend the government, saying that asked actually in trans Transparency International to release the parameters they used to okay. determine this ranking. Mm -hmm. And she was saying that they totally ignored certain, um, all the various activities the ICP, for example, has been doing to uh, monitor the funds released for constituency projects, for example. They've given a report that actually also restrained uh, multi billions of naira being released to the MDAs that could have been embezzled. So these are work being done very, in the background. Very similar to what that Madame they are said from EFCC. Yes. He, 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 what he's saying is that they've done more. They've done a lot. They can do yeah. more. They can do more. And we quite uh, we can't we can't say that they didn't do anything. Obviously, they won't get reelected if they didn't do anything. But and I don't want to seem like oh we're all just listing all the challenges this country has. But the challenges are indeed very overwhelming mm -hmm. and they are very in our faces so we need to always not just shun what transparency national says let, but let we should listen to them especially b based on the fact that they are even they, they, there's no they didn't just they might not list the parameters on how they measured it mm -hmm. but the facts that they released are not facts that they can deny Okay. They cannot deny the fact that in Nigeria the rule of law is selective. Let me you cannot deny the fact I'll that the rich get opportunities mm. to mm. evade law. Yeah. That's a fact. Okay. Every okay. time we talk about Nigeria's issues, when we talk about healthcare, education, whatever, I just always say, see, it's in corruption that spoils everything in our country. Mm -hmm. That is how I see it. I mean, there's nothing we will discuss today that somehow cannot be linked to corruption. And what may, and, and that's why the third point that they raised, the institutionalized corruption in political parties and political integrity. See, we know. We do not have proper political parties. We do not have proper Internet politicians democracy. with ideologies, with a with a you know, with ideal or ideas to values. help Nigerians, mm. with values. We are just looking we've become almost a political for lack of a better word, political prostitutes would just jump from one party to the other that would serve, you know, very self-serving politicians. So I'm like, if these are the people that are meant to represent us and they are first self-serving, there's nothing mm. that Nigerians will get but from people who their main objective really is to serve themselves. Number six of this report of the Transparency, Transparency International was the inability to implement recommendations on anti-corruption. Now, based on the findings of journalists within the prisons and recently the, the, the psychiatric hospital in Yaba, what was the stand of government? I remember the Minister for Interior commending the young man who did the investigations in the prisons, but he, it ended there. Yeah. What I would have expected was that, you know, because it's institutionalized corruption, as soon as he was done with his report and he recommended certain solutions that we found people going down and paying for the consequences for this. Mm. But the investigation, as the, as the report came out, it stopped there. I'm still waiting for the Ministry of Interior to do something on this. The first statement from our, our government shouldn't be that we reject this because we are feeling it. So if you don't sympathize with me, I understand that you are not on the same level as I am and I cannot, you're, not, you're not leading me. Mm. You are just in your own cloud. But the first, what I said my leaders to do, yes, your hands are, your hands are tied, is good. to sympathize with me. Say that we've heard your report. Like we feel what you're mm, going through, mm. but we are doing our own work. I'll address From that point, I will listen call. to you. Yep.